Are you guys ready to get started? Yo. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Yo, yeah, 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 yeah. All right, cool. So today we're gonna be talking about business casual outfits for men. You know, maybe you're wearing. Hey, bro, 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 you're alive. Oh my god, oh my god. Uh, okay, so today we're gonna be talking about business casual outfits for men. You know, maybe you're working from home, you got that new job, or you just got into that new internship that you applied for, and the dress code is business casual, and you're kind of unsure on exactly what to wear because you want to look professional, but you still want to look clean and stylish. So you decide to get some outfit inspiration, you decide to YouTube business casual outfits for men. All you'll find are videos from what I'll call older men who really just wear suits every day. And if your style is anything like mine, where it's very casual streetwear, but then you have a job where you actually have to look professional. That's why I'm bringing you these outfit ideas so we can get creative, be comfortable, be professional and stylish all at the same time. And this video is for everybody, even if you're working from home, because I know in 2020, working from home has only gotten more common. And I think it's only going to become even more common in the coming years. And just because you work from home doesn't mean that you don't have to get dressed for work. There's actually science behind the fact on why you need to get dressed for work. Basically, the study showed that people who dressed up for work outperform those who didn't because getting dressed up puts you in a mindset of, OK, it's time for work, time to be productive, and it shows in the quality of work you put out. And being stylish in the workplace, it's important. It shows confidence and plays a huge part in the opinion that others have of you and your work. And no, this doesn't mean that you have to buy a lot of expensive clothing because you can't buy style. Style is effort. But I think it's time we move on to the fits. This video is about being creative, comfortable, and professional. And it's time for look number one. Okay, so this first fit is the perfect example of being casual, comfortable, while still being a bit professional. And here I'm wearing this white shirt from Acne Studios. It's got the cool branding around the collar. Over it, I have this white button up from Calvin Klein. Clean, simple, yet a professional look. And I've paired it with these blue checkered pants from Zara. I know it looks great, but it's blue. It's this very lightweight, like stretchy material. Look like they're very tight, form-fitting, but they're actually stretchy, so they're so comfortable. They've got a professional look, which is why I love them. It's one of my go-to fits where I have a lot of stuff to do, yet I wanna look good, I wanna look stylish, I wanna get everything done, be productive. No no stress. I don't want to give myself excuses on why I didn't do stuff. For these casual looks, I love wearing comfortable pants, right? That's the most important part. You want to be productive. You want to be stress-free. Wear comfortable pants. Don't wear anything that's tight-fitting jeans or anything like that. For these casual fits, two brands I need to take a look at are Uniqlo and Zara. Okay, so I'm editing right now and I decided to go on Zara's website and the new collection just dropped and wow. If you guys want to see me spend like $300, create like a classy, smart streetwear lookbook for a video, let me know in the comment section down below. I'm very impulsive and I'm like super tempted right now. Oh, and Uniqlo also has some comfortable workwear and like their quality is amazing. So make sure to check them out as well. I love them both because everything they sell can be styled in so many different ways. You can be very casual streetwear and then turn it into a professional outfit with those same pieces. And as far as footwear, just keep it simple, casual. I work in fashion and I'm addicted to sneakers. So all my sneakers are expensive. This is like my most casual shoe. It's my Balenciaga sock runner. Love these things, so comfortable. And if you're not into spending a lot of money on shoes, but you still want a high quality brand, check out Common Projects. The low top leather sneakers are fantastic. Great quality, soft leather. They come in like white, black, gray, blue, everything. So make sure to check them out if you're looking just for a simple sneaker that you can wear on casual days and still wear to work. I just wanna say thank you for all the support over the past few weeks. I mean, three to 400 new subs, crazy. If that's you, welcome. If you're new here and you randomly found this video, my name is John, I make men's streetwear content. And if you enjoy this video, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, turn on post notifications and leave a comment down below. I wanna know your opinion of me, the video, everything. And I mean, basically help me reach the YouTube algorithm so they can share this video and we can grow together. We all know being super casual can be fun, but we all have those days where we want to or need to look a little bit more stylish. That's why we need to move on to look number two and it's what I like to call classy and comfy. Okay, the second look, it's probably one of my favorites. It's so comfortable, yet it has this high class look to it. The best way to class up your outfit is to just let your pants do the talking. That's why I love pleated pants. They offer a wide, comfortable fit while still being form-fitting. As you can see, pleated pants come in a lot of different designs and they're just now starting to get popular in menswear. And keeping your top simple, even with just a white tee, allows your pants to be the statement piece and makes for a very clean, stylish look. I'm wearing my favorite pants probably ever. It's my Issey Miyake Amplice trousers. If you don't know about them, you need to. And I paired it with this brown turtleneck. Not only does the color match my skin tone, it's a perfect match for the trousers. It's very tight fitting, so it contrasts well with the white fit of the Issey Miyake trousers. They're so comfortable, yet have this high end look to them. They're super popular on Instagram. If you look up like classy streetwear or smart streetwear you'll see everybody wearing these and there's a reason why they're literally like the perfect pant i wish i could afford another pair they retail for anywhere from like 250 to 400 dollars depending on the style i know that's a little bit much for pant and if you need a cheaper alternative don't worry i'm here a few months ago i uploaded a video about a cheaper alternative it's like 30 to 40 dollars has the same pleated design all over they're just as comfortable 
great quality, so much cheaper though. It's honestly the pant that I end up wearing the most. I get so many compliments on that one because people are like, where'd you get that? I haven't seen that one. It's very similar to the ones I'm wearing right now. So comfortable, make sure to check it out after you're done with this video. I'll leave a link in the description down below. And thankfully for these high class looks, you do have a lot of options as far as like price range goes. You can check out Zara. A great option is to go thrifting. Last week I uploaded a video about essentials that you need to thrift and one of them was trousers. I love finding trousers at the thrift because there's so many options. A lot of bankers, lawyers, donate their items. They're still in fantastic condition. There's always so many pants when you walk into any Goodwill, any thrift store, and it's an easy way to like high class your wardrobe up at a <laughs> affordable prices. As far as footwear, you can keep it simple and casual like the first fit, or you can take it to a little bit of a higher level. I'm so glad I invested in these. You can wear these super casually or even more business high-end look, and then maybe you introduce a boot, or actually a perfect one would be a loafer. I've been wanting these like horse bit Gucci loafers for a while now. I've been wanting to spend the money, but at the same time, I don't want to spend the money. Loafers are definitely a very comfortable option that still give you sort of like a more high class look than just like a leather sneaker. And all right, I think it's time we move on to look number three. Yes, we have days where we're casual, we're comfortable, a bit classy, but then there's days where we also have to be professional. And in business wear, there's no piece of clothing that's more iconic than a blazer or a suit jacket, whatever you want to call it. Maybe thinking, oh my God, a blazer, how creative. But I'm here to let you know, look, the energy, the confidence that a nice blazer gives you, finding one that matches, that you look good in, that you can just, you know, when you show up to work in a nice blazer, you know, everybody's looking at you like, oh my God, he put on a blazer, who he think he is? You know who I think I am. I came here to work, take over, this is my place now. That's the type of attitude that a nice blazer gives you. So please invest in one or go thrifting. You hope, if you get lucky at the thrift, the feeling, it's unmatched. And I love that people are getting creative and styling blazers and streetwear. Now it's not a casual piece that's being turned into a professional piece. Now it's a professional piece being turned into a casual piece. And I love thrifting for blazers. It can be a bit tough. Like I got this oversized one at a Goodwill for like $5. It's so beautiful. It's got gold buttons. Oh, and it's got this like oversized fit. Thankfully, the shoulders fit perfectly. The length on the sleeve is perfect. This is definitely more for like having something underneath. This is what I wear on days where, you know, I want to take it to a different level and I want people to know that I took it to a different level. And this black one here, I got from Zara like maybe four or five years ago. It still fits a little bit. I definitely need to invest in a new one. The good thing about investing in a blazer is that it's a piece that's gonna last you years. Something I can wear casually to work, to a nice dinner, an event, for everything. I'm putting this one back on because it's my favorite. Let me talk about. I need to take this off. I'm feeling myself a little way too much and uh, I don't think I can finish this video. Okay, back to reality. Sometimes it's not about being too creative with your looks. It's just about the confidence, the power, the mood, the mindset, more keywords that I'm throwing in here that your outfit gives you. And that's exactly what a blazer does. And I hope you guys are enjoying these fits. I definitely wanted to make this because like I said, like when I searched on YouTube, there was only like 40, 50 year olds giving us tips on how to wear a suit and stuff like that. There wasn't anything for our generation. And look, even though we're young, we still want to look professional. We still want to boss up. And that's exactly why I made this. Hey, thank you for all the support. Make sure to leave a like and leave a comment down below. I wanna know how you dress for work. What's your style? Also, click this video right here. It's my latest upload just in case you missed it. Or click this video right here. It's actually YouTube recommending one of my videos to you. And I mean, who knows you better than Google? They, they, they know everything about you. So it's guaranteed that you're gonna like it. And last thing, subscribe on my face right here or the subscribe button right here and then turn on post notifications right there. But hopefully the YouTube algorithm picks it up, shares it to more people and we can grow together. 